Hello everyone, Emmylou here. Today I want to show you a really cool picture of a cat created by Henri Matisse. Henri Matisse was French, not alive anymore. And I want to show you what he... This is him in his studio because he was very, very famous for cutout shapes. Um, so he painted originally to begin with and then he started sort of feeling quite unwell um, and then he ended up having an assistant to help him cut out shapes as well. So he almost did um, work that was, it was beautiful actually, it's really beautiful the way he did it. This is a really lovely picture here. It's almost like it's under the sea and let's have a look at the one that I love. Oh look, this is him in bed. He's in bed, probably not very well, doing art. How amazing is that? I think when I was ill a lot in school, I used to do a lot of art. So if I didn't go to school and I was ill, I'd end up painting. But he was known for really the cutout shapes more than anything. But he did do beautiful paintings as well. And one of them that I want to show you is the cat. So it's the cat um, that's sort of dipping into the glass with all the fish. It looks really, really lovely. I want to show you it and I want to create one like it. So we're just gonna create his type of artwork. And we're gonna use chalk pastels because they're really nice to use. So what you could do is, if you want to write on your work somewhere, should we write it or should we write? Maybe you can write it separately. It's H-E-N-R-I and it's Matisse. M-A-T-I-S-S-E, -S -S so that's Henri Matisse, and he was French, and he was a really famous artist. So first of all, we're gonna do the, let's do the round head of the cat. So we're gonna go about here. So think about the space on your paper. So can you see there's quite a lot of space. Near that circle, we're going to do an oval. So you've got circle, oval, and then with this oval, we're going to do this, line down, line down. It always sounds like lion down. <laughs> and then we're gonna go, just join it up. So just join that up really, really easy. Then touch the top of the circle and go all the way to there. And then all you want to do is here, we're going to do a table. So just touch about there. And we're going to draw round like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. Just a nice, almost like an oval. And then we're going to create the cat. So all we have to do is touch that bit here. And you're going to go down. Can you see how I'm going in? And it's going to just touch there. And then make this chunky. So you're going to do this. This is its foot. So you've got the cat's leg coming out onto the table. And then up here, we're going to go round and a line. So just do a round and a line. And then you're going to do this. Make this into a little paw. Can you see how I'm making it like that? And then just do this. So if you've done that too quick, just pause the video, go back, but it's just two little lines. So you go down, around, and then, and then, and that's it, it's cool. Okay, the cat, just do an ear about here, and then do an ear there. You could do it rounded probably. And then we wanna do a little nose in the middle with two little eyes. And what makes it look like a cat are the whiskers. So just do some whiskers coming out like that. So he's looking down at the cup and the cup's full of water. So do a little water's edge. You could do it there really, couldn't you? And you want to do some fishes. So they're really simple, aren't they, fishes? Just shape like eyes. You could do them chunky, you could do them small. Just do a little tails. And what I like doing is you could do an eye for each one, but also two little bubbles, just like that. Just like that. Right, 
what does a cat have that I haven't put on there? Yes, it's a tail. So just like that, just add a little tail. So there's the, it's so simple, isn't it? It looks complicated, but it's actually quite easy to do. So we've got the cat. Now we wanna just do an edge here, little bobbly bit there. If you wanna do the background to this painting, you can but I probably wouldn't need to do it. I probably might not do all of it, but I'm just gonna draw it. So I'm just gonna do these edges. What else is there? I think there's like a line there. A line there. So just add some lines, it doesn't matter. You don't have to do this. There's something there, I think. And then you've got this wobbly line, two little lines, and then la la la. Okay, so all I'm gonna do, I think, is get a rubber and you're gonna rub out where the cat's foot is, because it's on the table. This is in the glass, so you don't get to you don't get to rub out all of the lines, but only this line because it's kneeling over the glass. I probably would rub out the water line actually. You might not need that. And I would say you could rub out some of the head, but not all of it, just kind of there, because you don't need it to have that line there. And there we are. There is your Matisse cat. I will let you know what the picture's called when I go and get my colors. So just get ready with your colors. I'm gonna use chalk pastel, like I said. I'm just gonna do these lines. This is a table line, you can add those in now. So I'm gonna, do some chalks, I'm going to use some chalks, but I need to get some more chalks. So whilst I go and get those, get ready with your colour in. So it could be watercolour pencil, chalks, paints or oil pastel. So get ready with that and I'll go and get mine. Okay, welcome back guys. So I've got my chalk pastels, I've got lots of them. And I wanted to show you this picture. So it's called Cat with Red Fish, but I want to show you what we're doing. So if you have a look at that one. That is Henry Matisse's actual picture on my phone. So that's what we're gonna do. That's the colors that we're gonna aim for. So cat with red fish is what it's called. Now we don't have to color everything, but I do wanna hold this up to you because if you want to, you can write this down. So you can write cat with wet red fish, Henry Matisse. It might not show up very clearly on the video, um, and if not, I will write it in the other thing, in the actual video itself, so you can copy it. Henry Matisse, let's go. So we're going to colour it in now. So let's get the lightest colour first. No, oh, I've just dropped some of my colours. So yellow I'm going to get. I'm going to get a yellow pastel. And I'm just going to colour the whole cat yellow. I don't think I've ever seen a yellow cat, have you? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to colour the background actually. I'm just going to colour the actual picture because it's the nicest thing about this picture. I really like the background. Then I'm going to take a nice colour that's blue. Now I want to colour the water's edge blue. A light, it's like a bl bluey green my one isn't it? And if I can see the water edge is all the way around because it is round. So I'm just going to add a water edge there. I quite like what I had, but I'm just going to put this because I'm trying to copy some of the actual real picture. Okay, then what you want to do is have a blue, because it's water, it's nice to have the edge like this, but you don't have to colour inside, so try that. And then colour the red fish, they're kind of orangey I think these fishes. So I would probably do orange and red, you know? Because when you smudge it, it would look really cool. Right, so now we begin. Smudge this. You have to wash your fingers at times. And then clean your hands. I'm going to smudge the blue. If you don't want to smudge, you could just colour it all blue. This would work really well with watercolour pencils, it would look amazing. So we're just going to smudge that. Now really wash your finger or wipe it when you do the cat because the cat needs to be really nice and yellow. I'm not quite sure if 
if I've seen a cat this yellow. It's very yellow, isn't it? It's pretty yellow. Right, the next thing you need is a very, very dark blue. Hmm. I might do a purple. I'm just going to colour the table in. Nice, vibrant purple. So vibrant's like very bright. I'm just going to smudge that. Blend it in. I normally sing to myself as I do it. Especially if I find it a difficult moment to do something or it's a bit tricky. I'm sort of like, la la la. It just helps me. Right, now the cat is standing where it's transparent, where it's see-through. So all of this will be yellow because that's where the cat's body is. So we'll just colour this yellow. And if you haven't done a line, I've just drawn one in there. So just draw that. Then... I like the idea of doing a bit of the background, but not much. So let's just do, I'm just gonna color a little bit around the edges. Just copy a lot. I think they did a lot of pattern actually on this picture, which looks really nice. Now, red there. What else have we got? Ooh. Do you know what? It's got a lot of red everywhere. Which red was his favourite colour, wasn't it? Can you see how chalk pasta works really well, doesn't it? Uh, I'm going to get a different red to do that bit. Then we've got a pink here. As I say, you don't have to do any of this. I'm just doing it because I'm interested to see if the cat will stand out. Because the main focus of my picture is all of the cat really. Now I'm gonna blend, which means smudge, really. I'm just gonna smudge it, try not to go into the cat, but you know what? It's quite nice to go round so it, can you see how it just disappears? Just disappears into the distance. That's what really looks quite nice. I do a lot of my commissions, like my paintings for people where just disappears, it's quite a nice look. Especially if it's chalk. Okay, now we don't need to do anything else apart from, let's outline. Now I'm outlining in black. I don't really need to outline in black, but in the picture, there is a lot of black. So I'm going to draw what it is in the picture. So this will make it stand out. So I'm getting black chalk and drawing over all the pencil lines. You've already got these lines, so you're not gonna make a mistake because you've already done this in pencil. So you're just going over it. It's very simple. If you make a mistake, like I have a little bit, like I have a tiny bit of an eye there is red. It's okay, still look really good. I like to do that, so flick out the line. So I look if I've missed anything. It's a table, isn't it? Oh, my smudgy table, look at that. <laughs> no. Ta da! I really like that. So, if you can, get your one finger. Just draw round as though you're walking yourself just or walking something to school you're taking a water dog for a walk with your finger that's what you're doing so you could do this in charcoal paint anything you like but that is the cat with red fish by Henri Matisse my dad my mum's um French so I always pronounce the h's like Henri but it's Henry so Henri Matisse, cat with red fish. Maybe you could sign it. I wonder if Henri Matisse would be happy with this. Yep, there we go. Enjoy, like, subscribe and share and see how you get on with your picture. What might be nice as well if you want to is you could sort of create the patterns that are in the actual picture. That would be really nice with a black. So you could go over and put pattern. I can't remember what that green thing is. I think he did 
dots like that in the green so just have a bit of fun with that see how you get on show me as always because i like seeing all your pieces of artwork and i'll see you soon bye